Hey guys, how you doing? This is the first helmet cam video. Uh, Junior picked up this GoPro setup. We've been talking about doing it for a while and what better bike to try it out on than this kick-ass shovel head. This is a 79 shovel head. I saw it the first time last summer at the beach at Mesquamacit. The guy who owns it has a house down there right on the water and uh, I was riding my, my Dyna and I pulled out. I was like, man, look at that thing. Wow. So yeah, I just met him. He's like, we got the chat, and it turns out he's from from up around here where the museum is. He knew about us. He had heard about the museum, and he's a friend of a friend. So we got to chatting, and uh, he let me take the bike for a ride. Now I couldn't believe it the first time I rode this thing. That it felt to me like a really good running modern heritage soft tail. Uh, it's the tightest shovel I've ever ridden, and it's super super nice. It's been completely restored from the frame up. A lot of time and money was put into this bike. Over 10 grand. The engine's been completely rebuilt. The front end's all chromed out. It's got new tires on it. It's got the running lights. The uh, headlights all chromed out. It's got a new paint job on it. Exhaust is awesome. What do you think, Kenny? Definitely. You know, I just got done going on a little spin, and I just told Ken, my, this is definitely the smoothest shovel I've ever ridden in my life. It feels like you're riding an Evo, doesn't it? Or, or a twin cam. The only one that, that I rode that rode this good was the one Matika bit, the, the uh, Paul Matika built, the one with the, uh, in the, uh, uh, was that the FXE? Yeah, the one that was like a, like a, had black and orange, it was almost like a, like a, like an FXR. Hey, usually we get them and they're, they're not tuned right, they're popping and, and the engines are, I don't know, it's, they're not like this one. I'm going to go take it for a rip, let me try it. Have fun. This has got, um, everything's chrome on this thing. It's got a Kickstarter on it. If uh, if you ever need to, electric start works fine. But um, sitting here, the a massive g gas tank. It's got a built-in tachometer and speedometer. Close the windscreen when you get going. Fat Bob tanks. Again, it's my first helmet cam video. Hopefully, it'll work out good. Um, most of the guys I know on YouTube that uh, do riding videos have. Uh, have helmet cam set up so this will get enable us to take a little ride rather than just going up and watching us ride up and down the driveway there's some really cool roads around here so transmission shifts as good as any evo or twin cam nice and smooth feels like you're riding a new bike but it's a classic bike's 40 years old if you've been watching the market values the uh, the pan heads have gone through the roof and the shovels are really starting to come along if you look at the NADA value on this thing you'll blush I think it's uh, I haven't checked but I'm pretty sure it's uh, well north of, of uh, I think it's around $15,000 um, they're just getting more and more rare most of them are ridden into the ground and it's hard to find people out of work on these these days but this one's tight. The uh, front end's nice and tight. Front end bearings, rear end bearings, chains and sprockets, tires, all of that's been replaced. The thing's been totally reworked. Pull strong. Very comfortable bike. It's got the floorboards, buckhorn bars, and it's absolutely gorgeous. First time I saw it and heard it idling, I was like, wow, that thing is sweet. You, you just don't see hot shovel heads out there anymore that are been bulletproof like this one. Got a nice SNS carb on it, fresh top end. You know, at $90 to $120 an hour to take an old shovel head down to the frame like this and rebuild the motor and paint it all new running gear on it chrome it out it, it's it's easy to drop 10 grand on a restoration this one's done needs nothing and it runs really super nice handles nice too nice sticky rubber 
shocks are on point shocks are excellent and the forks again uh, this is this takes the cake as the nicest running and riding shovel head I've ever been on besides the FXE there was a black and orange FXE that had a hot rod Paul Matika motor in it that was quite a machine that thing was a, that was a, that was a big bore everything was done on that one this one's a stock engine cubic inch size it's not the engine's not built it's just everything's rebuilt and it's tuned nicely we're up here at Henry Park um, this is about a mile from the mill and uh, we'll probably be having large motorcycle rallies up here um, if my voice sounds a little funny my cheeks are squeezed in by this full face helmet I guess I got fat cheeks and uh, it's just squeezing my cheeks together a little bit <laughs> but check this road out this is called uh, Henry Park it's a uh, tower up here I love ripping up here on the Harley nothing like it. it it's only about 30 degrees out today um, I am wearing a snowmobile jacket and gloves so I am not cold at all with my full face and there's a hell of a view up here I got to share with you guys now that I got the helmet cam when I do my test rides I'll be going out on more rides like this with you guys one of the cool things about the FLH everything's chrome here so you see all the clouds everything's reflecting off of the the big giant chrome headlight in the cell this is Fox Hill Tower folks this is a, a World War II World War One, World War II war monument and in the summertime on Wednesdays it's opening climbing the top and the view check this out you can see all the way to all the way to Mount Tom look at that see that um that brick building at the bottom there with the big tower to, uh, spire on it that's the mayor's office I'll bring you guys in there someday uh, it's incredible mayor Dan's been awesome he just got um signed in he's a state senator now the mayor of Rockville is now a state senator but back to this bike listen to this thing what an absolutely beautiful piece I mean this is if you saw if you wanted a picture in your head or a thumbnail of what a Harley's supposed to look at look like this is it folks the FLH front end it's got a really nice Mustang saddle on it listen to the idle on this thing Wow Avon Venom tires twisted chrome spokes drilled rear rotor the swing arms been chromed rear run, running board pegs custom dual exhaust chrome rear fender trim tombstone taillight Harley Davidson logo on the on the uh, plate nice little backrest so your girl doesn't fly off the back um, small turn signals built into the um, fender rails beautiful Harley Davidson these aren't the cheesy ones these are Harley Davidson logo leather bags chrome oil tank it's got the uh, oil temperature gauge SNS carb and look at this motor man what a beautiful piece in my opinion the iron head Harley Davidson iron heads and shovels are the nicest looking Harley engines made um, I just love that that the mechanical look of this motor look at that thing big chrome pipes whole engines have been chrome the uh, valve covers the cam cover tranny cover the kicker uh, all braided stainless lines were replaced it's got an oil uh, pressure gauge chrome running boards chrome master cylinder for the rear brake check out these uh, chrome uh, pegs and the chrome crash guards it's got a, a built-in custom chrome oil cooler big giant Harley Davidson front fender the whole front ends dipped in chrome over a grand in chrome just on the front end twisted spokes on the front Avon tires brakes have all been redone just beautiful folks and it rides like a new motorcycle when you're on it if you close your eyes and ride it and, and uh, you feel like you're on a brand new Harley well done FLH this is one that's gonna clearly skyrocket in value in the years to come on this side here you've got all new fuel petcocks the, the, the badges are beautiful uh, new fuel lines fuel filter uh, everything's all chromed out for the shifter and the, and the derby cover and the uh, even the inner primary is covered in chrome so just a beautiful piece stunning stunning piece classic vintage FLH again 
This is the bike that you when you close your eyes and you visualize a Harley, this is the one. Beautiful day. They definitely have the best job in the world. You got the moon rising up in the sky over there over Fox Hill Tower. The sun's over there. Now look at the view. Just spectacular. You can see all the way to uh, Springfield and uh, Mount Tom. And the uh, Hartford Sk City Skylines right there. If you ever fly in to see us from out of the country, Bradley International Airport's right there. 12 miles northeast. So many cool events going on here this summer. We've got so much planned. Man, you got to stay tuned because it's going to be one great summer. We're going to be doing bike nights every Friday night at the museum with live music. We're building an outdoor ride-in movie theater, which will be the first kind of in the country. Motorcycle only ride-in theater. What a beautiful, beautiful. It's cold, but like I said, I'm not cold at all. I got my uh, nice snowmobile gear on. I learned that about five years ago. That's what you do in New England. You buy snowmobile jackets so you can ride you around. The roads are nice and clean, no salt on the roads. So, yeah, we have the Friday night uh, bike nights, Saturday night movie nights, and um, got a lot of really good things planned. This, this cocksucker in the Mercedes Benz were to get out of my way. So, uh, in any event, the. Uh, first big event we have planned for this year is the rock stock that's coming may 31st june 1st and june 2nd we have um 21 bands planned at the museum we've got doug danger coming to do a jump here so there's going to be a live jump by doug danger we have uh motorcycle stunt riding we've got mini bike racing, mini trike racing, and of course the museum's open, we'll have vendors, food, and we should have our, our uh, liquor permit by then for the special event, so we'll have beer too, so bikes, beers, and uh, music, bands, it's gonna be awesome. We have six three-day events planned at the museum this year, and bike nights every Friday, so there used to be a big big bike night in Springfield Mass that got canceled and also Motorcycle Mania in Middletown got canceled. They uh, closed, that was the last event. They just put out an advertisement that they're not doing the Motorcycle Mania again this year. 21,000 riders showed up. That's the biggest motorcycle event in Connecticut in the year. And Matter of fact, the guy who runs it called me today. I gotta call him back. We're gonna try to bring Motorcycle Mania to the museum. Actually, we, we are bringing it to the museum. We wanna do it in a controlled fashion so it doesn't grow too big too fast work closely with the chief of police and the fire marshal make sure the town's happy with what we're doing again the spike totally reliable fires right up on the electric start purrs like a kitten and uh needs nothing it's ready to go you can ship this thing anywhere in the country for you <coughs> excuse me if uh anywhere on the east coast for 500 or less west coast figure around 700 i can ship this bike all the way to the uk for 750 bucks so that's overseas folks europe so shipping costs aren't bad there's a lot of specialty companies that have figured it out so um if you're looking for a classic investment quality shovel head you can't pick a better one than this folks the flh has got the best body lines this one's completely sorted out needs nothing it's super comfortable the mustang saddle on it. it's got it's a brand new saddle so the foam on it's on point Tires got less than a thousand miles on them, so the tires are tons of tread left on them. Change the sprockets good, brakes is all set, good to go. Just needs a new home. If you want to leave this at the museum, please do. Um, I'll put it on a tender and start it once a month for you. If you want to just invest, make an investment and leave the bike with us, please feel free to. We'd love to have it. Listen to that engine. This thing revs out nicely. No backfiring on the deceleration, indicating the carbs jetted perfectly and there's no issues with the valves. Engine compression is perfect. Transmission and clutch are on point. Again, it's a, this is a no excuses shovel head. Over $10,000 invested in the, in the uh, restoration of it. Buy it now and ride off into the sunset or leave it at the museum and fly up. I'll pick you up at Bradley Airport and Come take her for a rip. This is West Main Street right here. <laughs> Shit. 
just stalled it. What a goon. Got a little nervous here with the school bus. They don't mess around these days. Well, that's where your electric start comes in. You just hit the button, boom, there you go. That was a novice goon move. <laughs> this is a really bumpy road, and uh, man, this thing handles it nice. It's got a nice set of shocks on there. The forks have been rebuilt. Just a real beauty. Listen to this thing rev. Look at the tachometer on it. Isn't that awesome? See if we got a shield on the top. Let me run her through the gears real quick. What a smooth run and shovel. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Awesome. <laughs> what a fun what a fun bike. I'd put this up against any evolution motor as far as smoothness. This 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 engine was done right. The crank must be balanced perfectly because it, it doesn't vibrate much and it the carburation's on point. Listen to that. Right up to 5,000 RPM, not a single, not a single backfire on a deceleration. Most Evos will do that hiccup through the carburetor and, and most shovels will make a little hiccup or a backfire. Not this one. This one's an absolute dime piece. Wish I could keep it. Definitely a case of love at first sight with me and this bike. First time I saw it at the beach, I was like, look at this thing. You just don't see these anymore. Not like this. What a machine, huh? How'd it go? Fucking fantastic. Sorry for swearing. Gotta stop that. What a beauty. What a machine, huh? Wow. Man. Best shovel I've ever ridden. I like this better than the FXE. It's more comfortable. I can't hear you. What do you say? It's more comfortable than the FXE. 